The opioid crisis is an emergency, and I'm saying officially right now, it is an emergency. It's a national emergency. A call to crush the opioid crisis gripping 2.6 million people in this country right now. And new tonight, 10 News reporter Anthony Pura spoke with two San Diegans using their own life and death battles to help others recover from rock bottom. Some things you can't undo. It's a roadmap of my life, San Diego. A lot of the stuff I got done in prison, a, that's a pill right there. Um, and then also, you know, a syringe as well. Images of the demons in his life. Wesley Heim got hooked on painkillers when he was in high school. That addiction opened the doors for heroin. This mugshot is a reminder of the path that followed. At one point, he even nearly died from an overdose. I was taken to a local hospital um, and was literally pulling IVs out of myself trying to get out. Um, to try to get back to get more drugs. By 27, he hit rock bottom. I felt subhuman. I didn't feel alive, and I just, be, I, I couldn't do it anymore. He went into drug treatment programs, forcing himself to complete them. He's been sober for more than five years now, determined to keep fighting. Now he helps start a new drug treatment program. His two partners, former addicts as well. To know that we played a role in that, um, that's amazing. This is where they're coming and it's all out on the table. This is where the magic happens. Wesley says their drug treatment program customizes to each person, teaching them life skills and setting goals to stay sober. It forces them to get jobs or go back to school. The program lasts about four months. They've only been at it for two, but Wesley is confident it will save lives from the drugs that nearly controlled his. I feel obligated to give back. Reporting in San Marcos, Anthony Pura, 10 News.